CSS, Cascading Style Sheets, is a language used for describing the presentation of HTML, Hypertext Markup Language, documents. CSS can be used to add colors, fonts, layout, and other visual styles to web pages. Here are some CSS basics. CSS Syntax CSS uses a set of rules to define how HTML elements should be displayed. Each rule consists of a selector and a declaration block. The selector selects the HTML elements to apply the styles to, and the declaration block contains one or more declarations that define the styles to apply. For example, the following CSS rule sets the font color of all paragraphs to red. P. Color red. CSS selectors. CSS selectors are used to select HTML elements to apply styles to. There are many types of selectors, including element selectors, class selectors, ID selectors, attribute selectors, and pseudo-class selectors. For example, the following CSS rule sets the font color of all paragraphs with a class of highlight to blue. P. Highlight. Color blue. CSS properties. CSS properties are used to define the styles to apply to HTML elements. There are many CSS properties, including color, font size, margin, padding, border, background, and many more. For example, the following CSS rule sets the font size of all paragraphs to 16 pixels. P. Font size, 16 px. CSS inheritance. CSS styles can be inherited from parent elements to child elements. This means that if a style is applied to a parent element, it will automatically be applied to all child elements unless a different style is explicitly set. For example, the following CSS rule sets the font color of all headings to red, and since the heading tags are nested inside a div tag, the same style will be inherited by all headings within that div. Div. Color red. These are just a few basic concepts of CSS. There are many more properties, selectors, and rules that can be used to create complex and beautiful designs for web pages. 2. Advanced CSS Advanced CSS is a set of techniques and tools used to create more complex and visually stunning web designs. It goes beyond the basics of CSS and includes features such as animations, transitions, responsive design, and layout grids. Here are some key concepts and techniques that fall under the umbrella of advanced CSS. Flexbox, a powerful layout system that allows you to create flexible and responsive layouts with ease. Flexbox lets you align and distribute elements within a container in a way that is dynamic and flexible. Grid layout, similar to Flexbox, grid layout is another layout system that allows you to create complex and responsive grid-based layouts. Grid layout is more powerful than Flexbox, as it allows you to create multidimensional layouts and specify precise positioning for elements. Animations CSS animations allow you to add motion and visual interest to your website without relying on JavaScript or other external libraries. With CSS animations, you can create simple or complex animations for hover effects, loading animations, and more. Transitions. Transitions allow you to add smooth and gradual changes to the appearance of elements on your website. For example, you can use transitions to make text fade in and out or to add a smooth hover effect to a button. Responsive design. Responsive design is a technique that allows your website to adjust to different screen sizes and devices. This is essential for ensuring that your website is accessible and easy to use on smartphones, tablets, and other devices. CSS preprocessors CSS preprocessors such as SAS and LESS allow you to write CSS in a more organized and efficient way. With preprocessors, you can use variables, functions, and mixins to simplify your CSS and make it more maintainable. Overall, advanced CSS is a crucial skill for any web developer who wants to create modern and visually stunning websites. By mastering these techniques, you can create websites that are flexible, responsive, and visually appealing to your users. 3. Responsive Web Design 
Responsive web design is an approach to web design that aims to create websites that can adapt to various screen sizes and devices. The goal of responsive web design is to ensure that websites are accessible and user-friendly across a range of devices, from desktop computers to smartphones and tablets. The main principle of responsive web design is the use of flexible layouts and responsive images and media, which allow the website to adjust its layout and content to fit the screen size of the device being used. This means that users can access and use the website regardless of the size of their screen or the device they are using. Responsive web design also emphasizes the use of mobile-first design, which means designing for mobile devices first and then scaling up to larger screens. This approach ensures that the website is optimized for smaller screens and slower internet connections, which are common on mobile devices. There are many benefits to responsive web design, including improved user experience, better search engine optimization, and increased accessibility. By designing websites that can adapt to any device, businesses can reach a wider audience and ensure that their website is accessible to all users, regardless of the device they are using. 4. CSS Animations CSS animations are a powerful tool for creating dynamic and engaging web pages. Animations can be used to bring attention to important elements, add visual interest to a page, and create a more immersive user experience. To create CSS animations, you can use the at keyframes rule to define a set of animation steps, and then apply the animation to an element using the animation property. Here is an example of a simple animation that makes a div element rotate. Slash define the keyframe slash. At keyframes rotate. From. Transform rotate 0 degrees.